Welcome back to the Coding Fanatic YouTube channel. Here I use my, my eye for optimism and efficiency to help you with building your career, learning quickly, and overall dealing with navigating the workplace. Uh, if those are things that you find useful and helpful, then stay tuned. Uh, also, don't forget to like, uh, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you can see when I put out new videos, and also join the mailing list so that you're updated when I have new content out, including articles, videos like these, and more. So, that being said, let's jump into the video. So, if you've been following along, you know that I recently finished updating the my first app and putting it out on the Google Play Store. So right now, now that everything is put forward, I want to start learning about backend development. So in order to do that, I created a learning plan around creating, setting up a real-time database with Firebase. Now the way Firebase works is it allows you to add a real-time database. So whenever you, if you have data that needs to be updated continuously, then that would manage it. So let's say you had an app for like a grocery list or I don't know, a, a, yeah, let's say a grocery list or you're going shopping, holiday shopping, and you had a list of presents or something, as people buy presents, they can make an update in their app, and then that would be that would go get updated by the database, Firebase, and now everyone who's using the app would see the updated versions of all the information. So, the there aren't that many steps for adding Firebase to, to, to an app. It, it's pretty simple. Uh, the first thing would be to register the target app with Firebase. Uh, after that, then you add the Firebase configuration to the, to the app and the Firebase SDK, and that's about it. And all this after creating a Firebase project. So once you do all that, then everything is set in stone. So I'm using this because my app right now, it shows, it lets users go through a list of addresses and search them using the zip code. But when I created the app, I hard coded all the strings for each address into the app. So this isn't really a best practice. And if I wanted to update the list of information, I would have to go in and manually change the APK itself and then re-release it. Whereas if I wanted to add maybe authentication later on or have users have set addresses and things like that, all that information, then it would be easier if I set up a real-time database with Firebase. So by having the hard-coded strings, then users can have uh, all the information elsewhere and the app just pulls that information from the database. So my next step from here would be to set up uh, kind of like a dummy app, something just to mess around so I get a good idea of how it works. So my plan is to create an app that shows a list of names and you can do stuff in the app that edits or removes that names from the list and whenever you qu quit the app and go back in, it should allow you to pull information from the database. So this way each person or every instance of the app that where it's installed has a different set of names. Um, that's about it. <laughs> so once I have that down, then I can figure out how to add that same thing for the addresses in the salesman travel, salesman's travel app. So uh, yeah, that's what you'll see from me over the next few weeks. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Learn how to set this thing up and then make a goofy little project, a small little app, and then apply those same principles to the salesman's travel app, app and then go on from there. So, that being said, uh, thank you all so much for tuning in. Uh, also, if you have any information on Firebase, if you have any tips or resources that you recommend, drop them in the comments below. Uh, so, that being said, this is your host, Richard Clark, signing out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you see when I upload videos like these. Go to codingfanatic.com, codingfanatic.com, and join the mailing list so that you are the first to know when I have new articles and videos around career advice, uh, Android tutorials, and just project updates in general. All right, so again, this is your host, Richard Clark, signing out, and I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.